weather where you live with Chief Meteorologist Tom Chisholm. Well, it's time to get very uh, practical about the extraordinary nature of the storm that is uh, bearing down on us right now. We're deciphering data as it is coming in, our latest computer forecast data coming in, and we're actually going to take a, a look at how things are going to be playing out here as we, as we go. Winter storm warning is in effect for the entire area. We're going to have near blizzard conditions tomorrow along with record snowfall potential. Uh, the snow that we thought was going to be mixing with a little bit of sleet and rain near the coast is less of a chance of that mixture, especially from coastal Cumberland County on to the north. There still is a chance in York County there could be a little bit of sleet. Now, I'm going to show you our forecast map of snowfall amounts. 12 to 20 inches seems just about a sure bet in the area that we're showing here. Maybe just slightly less in coastal York County, but I've actually been looking at some of our data. And in northern Cumberland County, southern Oxford County, Androscog and Kennebec, and at least the northern part of Lincoln County, I'm thinking that somewhere between 25 and 30 inches of snow based on latest computer forecast data is possible. Now, a couple of other things we've had heard about concerns about power outages. Now, I don't think that's going to be a widespread problem for several reasons. We're not going to have howling winds near the coast. They will be at times gale force, and so the usual suspect areas, for example, Cape Elizabeth, could have some limited power outages. This is also going to be a very light, fluffy snow, not the heavy, wet snow that would cause the kind of power outages and trees uh, uh, limbs breaking, that sort of thing. So we don't have to be particularly concerned. The bad news is, is that those 43 trucks that will be out there will have a very tough time keeping up with keeping the roads clear because the snow is going to be blowing around like crazy because it's so dry. So a really tough storm and uh, it is now reforming off of the mid-Atlantic coast. You can see this area of green, that's where low pressure is redeveloping. The primary storm getting up into the eastern Great Lakes, and this is where the center of action right on cue is now developing, and the snow will overspread the area from southwest to northeast. Or so forecast, the snow develops after midnight, certainly by 3 or 4 o'clock, York County, much of New Hampshire, western Maine, and then becoming heavy in the pre-dawn hours. Temperatures 12 to 20. Once the snow begins, the temperature is going to drop very quickly. Now, very important tomorrow, wind-driven heavy snow near blizzard conditions at time. The very heaviest snow, probably about 8 o'clock in the morning until 6 p.m., 24 to 32, with those temperatures nudging close to freezing along the immediate coastline, still a little chance of a little bit of, of sleep, but that's just really kind of a fine point because we're all going to get a lot of snow. It's 28 in Portland now, well below freezing inland. Not extraordinarily cold right now, but once that storm gets into the Gulf of Maine tomorrow afternoon, there'll be a north wind that's going to draw down some very cold air, part of the dynamics of the storm. Temperature profile during the morning, 29 at about 6 o'clock, 